hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some sweet and sour fish yes 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 so this is my fish and I'm using the red brim fish okay but you can use whatever fish you preferred and what I did I just cut my fish and I removed the scale from it So what I did, I just trim it off. It's already washed and clean in some lemon juice. This is totally optional, but I want to do it like that. Yeah. So these are all of my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of jerk seasoning one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of cajun seasoning one teaspoon of smoked paprika one teaspoon of old bay seasoning one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning but you can use whatever seasoning you have at home okay you don't have to use all the seasoning that i'm using So I'm just going to add at least a teaspoon of olive oil on my fish just to keep it nice and moist. Then I'm going to just sprinkle just a pinch of salt because you know all these seasoning full of so much salt. Then I'm just going to blend all my seasoning together. But I'm not going to use all of this seasoning. I'm going to use some of it for my flour mixture okay you just want to sprinkle it all over on your fish I'm gonna leave at this amount yeah and you're just gonna take your hands and just rub all that seasoning all over on your fish just make sure it is all combined because trust me you want your fish to be nice and full of flavor so don't be scared to rub all that seasoning in and you can always use the gloves <laughs> but i prefer to use my beer hands yeah I'm telling you, you guys are going to enjoy this recipe. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Trust me. It has got to taste so good. And you want to make sure that your fish is nicely dried okay because you know we're gonna fry them so make sure they're not wet get a paper towel and remove the excess water from it yeah make sure it drained off so that's nicely nicely done So this is my plain flour right here and I'm using one cup yeah so now I'm just gonna add all my remaining seasoning to my flour mixture and you're just gonna take your fork and just blend it so everything will all combine I might just add at least half teaspoon of salt oops where's that water coming from <laughs> this half teaspoon of salt and you just want to blend it all in so 
So that's nicely done. You're gonna need two eggs. Onto my eggs, I'm gonna add at least one teaspoon of my hot pepper sauce. And you just wanna blend it all in. So that's done so these are some of my other ingredients here I have three cloves of garlic that I finely chopped this is for my sweet and sour sauce okay and I also have some bell peppers all the colors half of onion and just a small amount of spring onions okay you see all that color <laughs> It just goes so perfectly with my flowers. I love flowers. I really, really do. <laughs> Gonna need some ginger. Because you know, ginger with sweet and sour chicken or sweet and sour fish goes so perfect. So you're definitely gonna need some ginger, okay? So these are all of my ingredients for my sweet and sour sauce. Here I have a quarter cup of ketchup, at least five spoonful of white granulated sugar. You can also use some dark sugar. These are all of my seasoning. Here I have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. So firstly, I'm just going to add my ketchup to my bowl. And I'm going to add at least one cup of warm water to my bowl. You can also use some pineapple juice if you don't want to use water. Then I'm going to add my sugar and all my seasoning and you just want to stir it so everything will all combine okay And I'm going to add at least two teaspoons of white vinegar to my sweet and sour sauce. And you just want to make sure everything is all combined. Then when you finish, you just put it to the side, okay? So now, as you can see, I've got my flour mixture right here, my eggs, and my fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my fish to my egg. Then I'm just going to add it to my flour. You could use milk as well, but I want my fish to be nice and crispy. So I'm just going to use the egg instead of the milk. You just want to shake off the excess flour.
so this is my last fish to be coated then i'm gonna fry it i cannot wait <laughs> So here I have my pot on the stove and to my pot guys I add some vegetable oil just add enough oil so your fish will fry it properly okay and wait for your oil to eat up so now I'm just gonna add my fish but make sure guys the oil is not too 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 hot because you don't want your fish to burn. I'm adding at least three fish. You're just gonna allow it to fry for at least five to four minutes on each side, okay? So it's been just over five minutes. So now I'm gonna turn my fish and I add a scotch bonnet pepper to my pot just to give my fish more flavor. So you see how nice and golden that is? That's exactly how you want it. Perfect. So my fish is all finished. And guys, just look at it. Nice, golden, crispy that's exactly how you want it yum 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 I'm just gonna put it on a cooling rack And you just want to carry on with the same process okay and you know what guys sometime your fish you can see like the fish coming through but what you can do is just keep adding it to your flour like so because sometimes the fish you can see the fish through it especially if you have it out long okay so do that So now that all my fish has fried, here I have my pot on the stove. To my pot I add at least one teaspoon of olive oil. So now I'm going to add my garlic. 
my ginger. And my onions. And you're just going to allow it to saute just for a couple of seconds. So just after a couple of seconds, I'm going to add all my bell peppers and my green peppers. And my spring onion. And I'm just going to add at least half teaspoon of jerk seasoning and half teaspoon of black pepper. You just want to mix it all in. Just gonna allow it guys to start it for at least one minute, okay? So just after one minute, I'm gonna add my sweet and sour sauce and i'm telling you that look amazing and you're just gonna allow it guys to come to a boil then i'm gonna add my fish okay So now that it has come to a boil, I'm going to add my fish. And you want to pour all that sauce, all that delicious sauce all over on your fish. And I'm telling you, it looks so, 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 so good. Super, super delicious. I'm just going to leave it, guys, for at least four minutes, okay? And it is finished. And I'm not going to cover my pot. Just leave your pot uncovered. So guys, my sweet and sour fish is all finished and I'm telling you, it's looking absolutely, absolutely delicious, delicious. Don't forget guys to give me a big, big thumbs up. Share this video to all of your families, your friends and everyone on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. I work so hard just to get this video out for you guys. So please, please support my channel. And if you have support in my channel, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just going to plate it up and show you guys how it looks on the plate. Okay, so stay tuned.
so I'm just adding some sesame seed to my sweet and sour fish and guys I'm telling you it looks so so good please comment below and tell me if you try my recipe and hit your notification button for whenever I upload a video you will be the first to see it and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already okay So I'm gonna serve my sweet and sour fish with some plain rice of course with some tomato on the side and some cucumber and guys thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to keep laughing keep smiling no matter what because God is always on your side bye guys stay blessed love you until next time